Greetings and welcome back to the Lilly Lectures. I am William Lilly, and today we are looking into a fascinating case that came across my desk. It's a compelling example of how astrology can shed light on perplexing situations. So sit back and join me as we explore the mysteries of the stars. The chart was cast for the 23rd of March 1647 at 9.12am in London, England. We must first consider if Mars, the ruler of the twelfth house, is afflicting Mercury, the ruler of the Ascendant, or if Mars is afflicting the Moon, or whether Mercury is the ruler of both the Ascendant and the twelfth house, or if Saturn, the ruler of the eighth house, is causing harm to the Ascendant. Without the affliction of the Lord of the Ascendant, the Ascendant itself, or the Moon by the Lord of the Twelfth, there is no strong indication of witchcraft. Here the moon was moving toward an opposition with Saturn. With both planets positioned in the sixth and twelfth houses, it raised suspicions of witchcraft. Those who sought answers for the querent had some reason to be concerned, especially considering that the physicians had prescribed a significant amount of medicine which had no effect, and the patient's condition continued to worsen. I confidently stated that the patient was not bewitched because Mercury was forming a trine to Jupiter and Mars and Venus in the twelfth house, and Saturn was significantly distant from the cusp of the house. After the moon's application to an opposition with Saturn, it then moves in the direction of Mercury, the ruler of the Ascendant, who is positioned above the horizon and ascending towards the midheaven. I advise them to consult with the doctors again and to inform them politely that the underlying issue causing the illness was hidden, related to the reproductive and secretive areas, and possibly the result of excessive sexual activity. To support this assertion, I pointed out that Libra was on the cusp of the sixth house, and Venus, the ruler of the sign, was in the twelfth house. Therefore, it suggested an occult and secretive disease related to Venus. The moon was in Scorpio in the sixth house, opposing Saturn in the twelfth house, indicating a female-related illness that was closely concealed. Since neither Saturn nor the moon were respecting the ascendant, it was difficult to detect. I suspected it was an itchy condition because Mercury was in Pisces, a moist sign. Furthermore, Libra and Gemini, which are both air signs, indicated that the disease affected the bones, joints, and blood. I didn't claim it was a full-blown case of venereal disease, but I cautioned them to take preventive measures. They followed this advice, adjusted the course of treatment, and the afflicted individual made a full recovery in approximately three weeks. This is another remarkable example of how the planets through astrology can guide us through life's enigmatic twists and turns. Thank you for joining me on this episode of The Lily Lectures. Until next time, keep looking to the stars for answers. I am William Lilly and this is Christian Astrology.